people are like, who is Danielle Victor? And I'm like, bitch, it's Danny with two N's. Am I a fashion blogger? Maybe. Am I a storyteller? For sure. Am I a badass bitch? Absolutely. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have your teacups ready, your seatbelts fastened, and you're ready for me to spill the tea. I don't know, that was dumb. All jokes aside, I just got honey on my hand. I should probably try a sip of this. It says caffeinated and it's nine o'clock at night. It's not bad, actually. Mm. So, it's 9 o'clock at night, I'm about to do this video for y'all, and I hope I don't leave anything out. I hope this video also is in two hours, because I don't want to film for two hours and edit for two hours. <sighs> but let me start from the very beginning. Do you guys remember when I had Selena and that other chick on my podcast, and then she hit the fan? Because they tried to do a podcast with No Jumper and Adam22, and then they tried to shit on us, so I shit on them with some receipts. Y'all remember that? Wasn't too long ago. Quite recent, actually. But let me move this closer. You guys seem so far away. Anyways, when all that happened, when we went to the pool party that AJ and Selena said Gabby was not a good mother at, we, me and Selena were outside. The pool's over here. Gabby and AJ are by the pool. Me and Selena are like in this little hot area that's open where you can see the pool, but there's a little table that you can sit at, maybe eat, have a drink, and then there's a pool table. This is at AJ's friend's house. Ex-boyfriend, whatever. So we're talking about Bad Girls Club, blah, 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 blah. This is after Selena called her mom, and she claims that she's not a huge fan, but her mom is a huge fan. And then... We were talking about Bad Girls Club and, you know, who's a bitch, who's not a bitch, and Natalie came up. Natalie. And so, you know, very calmly, very bluntly said, oh, yeah, I her husband, Jacob. And I was like, um, oh. <laughs> and she's like, no, for real, I fucked him. And I was like, oh. And I go, so he cheated on Natalie? And she was like, hell yeah. He would pick up my FaceTime right now if I called him. I go, okay, so call him. Just like I did when she brought up Snoop. So she picks up the phone and she literally calls Jacob. And it's ringing, it's ringing. Her screen literally says Jacob Payne. He doesn't answer and I'm like, ooh, this is very weird, this is uncomfortable. Time goes on, maybe one day or two days, shit hits the fan, I know I'm dropping the video. So I text Natalie on my new number because since winter leaked my old number, I haven't really given many people my number. I texted Natalie and this was on, hold on, I just gotta scroll up. Give me one second here. I texted her on Wednesday, September 2nd at 9.25 p.m. I said, hey girl, I need you to call me real quick because I'm dropping a YouTube tomorrow and your husband's name is in the mix because I was going to put it in my YouTube. And I'm not trying to disrespect you by any means, so I wanted to make sure what I say and discuss is okay with you because I'm not crossing any lines with people I don't have beef with. I was trying to have respect for Natalie. So I didn't want to bring up, you know, Selena Powell probably sucking your husband's or you know whatever they did with each other on a YouTube without you knowing that I'm gonna say that on a YouTube because I try to be a classy nice bitch sometimes she said who is this me forgetting I have a new number I said it's Danny question mark question mark I say it's about Selena I just had her on my podcast and now she's starting this weird ass fight for clout she goes but what's that have to do with Jacob I said yesterday she told me she f***ed him while we were at a pool and FaceTimed him when I was standing next to her and I was going to mention her horrible behavior with, with people's lives and families, but I'm not going to mention your husband and what she said or did without talking to you first. I'm really not quite sure what I meant by that sentence, but I, whatever. Basically asking her, can I bring this up on my YouTube? He said, that's all a lie, he doesn't even know her. Girl, that's hilarious, not true, and he doesn't know her. At this point, now that I've done business with Natalie, 
I don't believe a word she said and Selena probably did not know. I go, she has his name saved unless she did it on purpose and it's actually someone else. She goes, no girl, he doesn't know her. I go, she bragged about f***ing him and then FaceTimed him. Girl, we not on that over here. This is a peaceful life, he doesn't know her. So basically, blah 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 blah, irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the story. I'm basically letting you guys know how Natalie has my new number. And also I thought I'd spill the tea. That, the only reason she has my number is because Selena Powell said that she f***ed Jacob Payne, Natalie's husband, FaceTime Jacob right in front of me, he didn't answer. I don't know if it's true or false, don't care either. So, on October 12th at 8.03 p.m., Natalie called me. I didn't answer. She then texted me and said, hey, call me. I said, hey, can you ring me tomorrow? I'm on East Coast with fam and my, my dog just had surgery, so I'm about to lay next to him so he stops panting. Or just a little later, like hour or so. And she said, you ready? So I just said, f*** it, I'll call you. She didn't answer. So I texted her and said, I just tried calling you. So she sent me a picture of the no one does it like the OGs, okay? The picture that was first posted. And then she calls me and she gives me the whole lowdown. She's like, me and Tanisha, we want to get the old bad girls together. We want to do like a little bad girls club show. Blueface made two million dollars in two days. We could make way more than that if we can all come together and we can all make bread because everyone loves bad girls club and our fans miss bad girls club and yada 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 yada. We get off this phone call, on the phone with her for about an hour. She then texts me after the phone call, the little flyer, see you soon, hashtag OnlyFans. And she tells us to post it. So all the bad girls that probably got this phone call or this text with Natalie all posted this flyer that said, see you soon, hashtag OnlyFans. So the next day a group chat has started. I think Rocky started the first group chat. Tanisha's in it, Judy's in it, Rocky's in it, Jen's in it, Red's in it, me and Gabby are in it. Shannon's in it, Jada's in it, who else is in it? I think that's it, I think that's it. So this group thing is starting and we're all going back and forth. Judy steps into the building, Gabby and Judy start going at it in this group message, just straight at it, like back and forth. I said a few slick comments too because like you talked about my nephew. You're gonna have to slide in there sis. All this is going on and then Tanisha enters the chat and Tanisha backs out. So I'm gonna start this by showing y'all, and I'm not kidding, I have my laptop. I'm just gonna open it really quick. I'm gonna show you how serious I am because I have to send this stuff to my lawyer. In the meantime, as I'm getting the receipts ready to show to my attorney, I am just, I have a text message and it shows up on my screen. I'm just not trying to show y'all. Let me actually exit my text because I don't want that popping up while I'm on the computer. This is my folder. Okay, it's called Bad Bitch Reunion Receipts and it's broken down into folders. I've got contract screenshots, Rocky and Jada, Judah, Judah, Judy, fake plant shit, every time Natalie said no, Janelle, COVID, flight, suggestions, proof of work, Sarah slash one, Tanisha, Flo, Erica intro, OnlyFans, beginning, password slash bank account, Natalie DMs after OnlyFans, newbie slash bad boy club, Photoshop, contract, cameraman, Natalie's whatever, something phone. So I broke it up into categories. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the Tanisha file. And I'm gonna show you how this all began. And all of this will be on the side so you guys can see the actual proof. So we're in this chat. At some point, Natalie hits us with, this is the link for the OnlyFans. Everyone needs to say, you're, you need to swipe up, vote for me, to be picked, to be in the house, and yada, 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 yada. Tanisha comes in the chat. She's like, wait, hold on a second. We're supposed to, Natalie, you and I are supposed to reconvene on Thursday. What are you doing? You're jumping the gun. What the f*** is going on? At this point, Natalie is actually on her live, so she's not in the chat corresponding with any of us. So we're letting Tanisha know what she's saying in the live, because at this point, everyone is confused. We're like, what's going on? And Tanisha explains to us that this is not how it's supposed to go down. I'm supposed to be an EP on whatever it is we're doing. As usual, Natalie is dropping the ball on this one. Okay, so this is how the first chat went. I was super excited to reunite with most of you. Unfortunately, Natalie and I have very different ideas and per usual can't seem to communicate effectively. 
I have to find out shit via Instagram. Why on earth would you charge the fans to vote? Which we all thought. Anywho, I'm not knocking the hustle. I just respectfully can't be a part of it. It's too all over the place, and at this point in my life, some sort of structure is necessary. Agreed. You love you and wish you guys the best always XOXO. And I said, now I'm confused. Tanisha said, Rocky, you can go ahead and remove me respectfully. And I said, no, Tanisha, what the f***, what is happening? Tanisha said, Natalie lost it per usual, I'm not. Peace sign, crying face emoji, another crying face emoji. And I said, don't leave yet, let's try and find a solution. I've been confused since this morning about the voting. And Jada says some shit, but I don't give a f what Jada says, so I don't really care, I'm not gonna screenshot that, because Tanisha don't even like you. And I said, but I think Tanisha is upset because they have to subscribe to OnlyFans to vote. And none of us have signed contracts or gotten the password yet. Because at this point, the only person that has the login, the password, and access to the OnlyFans is Natalie, which we are now supposed to be telling everyone in the world to go vote. But she's the only one that can log on. She's the only one that has the email. No one at this point, not even Tanisha, has the login and password. So Jada responds, I see. And then I said, we are all supposed to agree on terms and guess the, get the password together so no one is doing anything they shouldn't. We all need to be able to see the profit being made to split evenly. Facts. Tanisha said, LOL, good luck. I know Nat, not happening. And what she meant by that was Natalie's never going to give the password and Natalie's never going to give us the piece of the pie, AKA the money earned. I said, I had no idea it was being made because I thought we were all going to agree on a name. That's why I was wondering why it was misspelled. Tanisha said, I explained to her we need time, time for sponsors, which is true. And other shit. This is the way it's done. We could get that if we were organized, hand on face emoji. And I said, so let's get organized, mama. Tanisha said, sis, did you guys not see the post? I said, I'm not on my regular IG, so I didn't, because I've been on the Victor Twins page, because I'm still waiting to get back into my personal account. But in the meantime, follow me there, at XXO Danielle. Thank you. Rocky said, I'm confused. I thought that's what we were doing, was posting videos and trying to get subscribers. Tanisha said, wait, she told you that? And Tanisha said, goodness. And I said, who is running that OnlyFans right now? Everyone was just f***ing confused, clearly. Tanisha said, not me, I have zero access. Hands up, emoji, I'm confused. And I go, so how is anything being split equally when no one has access right now? And Gabby said, there shouldn't be OnlyFans without us all knowing the password, period, point blank. Tanisha said, the fans started to at me. Gabby said, yeah, and it's $20 to vote. Tanisha said, right, so they're looking at me sideways. Y'all know how this shit go. Gabby said, so people are paying and none of us have access. LOL, nah. And I said, but everyone that's subscribed thus far, that money is going in someone's pocket. LOL, yeah, Natalie's. <laughs> Meanwhile, no response from Natalie. Tanisha said, maybe I'm off once again. This is all over the place. And I said, I mean, I've been asking the hard questions all day. Because all day long, I was like, where's the password? What are we doing with the bank account? How is this going to work? Jada said, we should definitely all have access to view the page. Rocky said, I mean, I was just going off of what I thought we were supposed to be doing. Sinisa said, shaking my head. I said, but didn't get any answers. That's why we didn't do the video act. Because at this point, I think Rocky did the video, Jada did the video, Erica did the video, and Natalie did the video to tell fans to go vote and subscribe. Me and Gabby didn't do it at this point because we're like, we're not about to do a video when we don't have access to a page. I'm not going to be promoting to be making someone else money when I don't know what the f*** is going on. Tanisha said, Rocky, you didn't do anything wrong. It's not you. We know who it is. Tanisha said, shake in my head. We're going to end up fighting. Crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. I said, I feel like a page shouldn't have been made without us all agreeing on a name. Like the current name doesn't even spell out correctly. It's not a professional look. When she first made the URL, it was like bad B-I-T and then club. It wasn't even like bitch spelled out correctly. And I was like, um, guys, is this a joke or was that on purpose? And it was on purpose. Tanisha said, now Natalie. Crying face emoji, skeleton, skeleton. Gabby said, LOL, legit, people are paying and we all don't have access. Tanisha said, wait, they paying? Where? Gabby said, $20. Tanisha said, what? Gabby said to subscribe, I believe, and to vote for the bad girl. Tanisha said, no. Jada said, yes. And I said, yes, it's 20 bucks for them to sign up to vote. Tanisha said, listen, it's the wrong way to do it. They will get turned off. And a lot of you did. A lot of you did subscribe, though, I will say that. Tanisha said, you guys have a cult following. Jada, we also should have all agreed how much it costs to subscribe. Facts. Definitely should have been agreed on. I would have definitely never charged $20. I said, I just don't get why anything is being done before we all agree on terms and conditions and sign a piece of paper. 
Tanisha said, don't turn them off. And then she agreed with what I said. We were supposed to reconvene Thursday night. That was the deal. So seeing that video, I spit my f***ing rosé everywhere. <sighs> this is when I should have known f was going to be bad. So I said, I really think we should, we all should have done a Zoom meeting with notebooks and pens, like a real ass meeting, not just IG chat to discuss everything before anything was posted. The flyer was cool for now. Gabby said, everyone do that. Ra Rocky said, okay, mine is archived. Jada said, okay, bet. And I said, I low-key feel bad for the people that have signed up. Shannon said, we will get it figured out with a bunch of champion, like, whatever emojis. Who uses those? Shannon. Mind you, keep in mind at this point, no one even had the, the login and password to OnlyFans. No one had the email to OnlyFans. None of us even had a discussion about voting. None of us had a discussion on how the voting would work. No one had a discussion of what would be put on the page and what wouldn't be on, put on the page. Natalie has literally done everything on her own. She has made every decision on her own. Even Tanisha at this point is like, what the f*** is going on? She's on live. She's telling fans how the show is going to go. The show is going to go. How your fan favorites are going to get voted into the house. And this is a conversation she had with herself. She never talked to me. She never talked to Gabby. She clearly never talked to Tanisha. She never talked to Jada. She never talked to Rocky. She never talked to Jen. Literally no one has any idea what the f she's doing, why the f she's doing it, why are you saying it when no one knows what, the, what the f you're saying. So as soon as Tanisha started being like, what the f is going on in my head, I'm like, no, seriously, what the f is going on? Because at this point people were paying and signing up, but no one had access to the to the page and when you go to the page you can't actually see how many fans or yeah how many fans the only fans has generated at this point so we have no clue how many people are signing up but we know people are signing up because people are telling us they're signing up I'm done I love you guys talk tomorrow I don't know what's going on but I'll try and I wrote back I don't know after I talked to her on the phone last night I thought we were gonna be doing bad girls club shit, like daily confessionals and charging but yes Enjoy your evening, everyone. Tanisha wrote, listen, if it's meant, if it's meant, it will happen. I'm hoping for the best. You all made it through thousands. I just want to reiterate that thousands in caps locks to be on a show that the world fell in love with. You're a star in your own respective right. Tanisha also said, also one more thing. Sorry, I'm a little lit. LOL, think outside the box. You're a lot more than just a bad girl. Gabby said, agreed, because we are. Keep in mind at this point, I believe I'm in the chat. Natalie responded in this chat, but she came back to this chat and deleted pretty much everything. So she said something and I'm responding to her. I don't know what she said. We all get that and are cool with that portion, but no one has signed any paperwork or agreed to any terms. Also, we are all supposed to have access to the OnlyFans account because at the end of the day, we are all in this together and making profits together. So when people are subscribing to a page that no one in this chat has access to, we are all not on the same page. And the name was made without an agreement on what it should be, and it's not spelled correctly. Should have been something more popping. We really should have had a Zoom meeting, because text can be abrasive even when you ain't trying to be. But this is basically what was discussed while you were on the live after, after Tanisha said she was out of the mix. So you can see that I'm pretty much talking to Natalie, but you can also see in the screenshot that Natalie has gone into this chat and deleted everything she said. And this is the first chat, so I didn't really care to go back to like right now when I realized this shit started far be before we had a separate group chat. Natalie said, so here's the thing, we changed the name, lol, that's basically the username. Jada said, okay, and what about access for all involved? And put certain people in charge of editing and posting the content. Natalie said, everyone can have access like I said. Jada, sorry, I missed that, so just put the login info. Again, everyone's always asking her for access, like, okay, if we can have access, where the fuck is the access? And I said, yeah, if people were subscribing tonight, then a login and password should have been sent before anyone posted promoting it. So Natalie said, because the thing is, everyone is allowed to be a part of the show, but we can't obviously have a hundred of us. So we're giving them the chance to vote, she put with quotation marks. Jada said, so it needs to be decided who is involved. And Natalie hearted it. For whoever's video is up, Jada, if you already know, you know, so we need to know too. Basically, Jada's asking, if you know who's in the going to the house tell us and why are you making the decisions beyond me Natalie said we will get the votes but then but then for from there basically I think she was trying to say because she's a terrible texter we'll get the votes and then go from there 
Jada said, my video is archived for now until we're on the same page. I get the voting thing though. Again, voting in quotation marks. I said, yeah, because you can't have girls posting and then cut them. It's like they ma they're making bread for the girls that aren't going. I don't need any of that shit. And honestly, Jada's talking a bunch of shit about blah, 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 and so irrelevant. I'm not even going to read it. But then Rocky ended the chat. So that was the beginning of it all. There was no chat for about a day or two. So when Tanisha first exited the chat, the first chat, Natalie called me and she's basically pitching why I should go with her on the show and not listen to whatever Tanisha's doing. And at this point I was like, I don't think Tanisha's doing anything. I think she's just stepping back from the situation. I, at this point I didn't realize that maybe both of them would be doing two separate things. So she's like, she doesn't want to have fun. She doesn't want to do this. She doesn't want to do that. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, I do, it's not, it's not a fucking, we don't need a host. We don't need a host on OnlyFans. And for me, I'm, I was a little confused. I mean, if we're doing full episodes, okay, I guess it could be like a host walks in and out, like all-star battle. But the whole concept of a host on OnlyFans was a little confusing. Uh, but she was like, listen, we're going to turn it up. We're going to do some sexy shit. And Tanisha's fat. And no guy wants to see a fat girl. And then she was like, well, actually, maybe a couple people would pay to see a fat chick. And I asked her, and I said, is that supposed to be, like, your friend? Is that supposed to be, like, your sister? Because I would never, ever be saying that about somebody I fucking cared about. And yes, men love bigger women, bitch. Okay, so when the first original group chat ended, Natalie was calling, she was texting, she really wanted us to make videos to tell people to subscribe and to vote and... Blah, 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 blah. So she texted me on Wednesday, October 14th at 11.21 a.m. Guys, we need videos, like anything, saying, hey guys, vote for us to be in the reunion house. I responded, yeah, but girl, the group chat with the people actually doing this needs to be made today, and we all need to get on the same page, because right now it's not. Like, your post about newbies was never discussed, at least not to me, and we can't have one person making decisions and moves when, all, when we're all doing this together. Everyone who is for sure going in October, needs to agree on how to do things, how to promote, etc. Or it won't work, trust me. She responds, listen, we have made over 2K in a day. You guys need to come on, sis. We move in fast. Rocky, Sarah, and Jada, and myself been posting in the OnlyFans. She continued to say, they all said we should say some newbies. So online, on their IG stories and their Instagram, they were asking women to email over a casting tape so they can be cast to be in the house with the OGs. This was never discussed with anyone, or at least not to me and Gabby. Because if it had been discussed with me, I would have been like, that's a f***ing terrible idea. And if we're doing a Bad Girls Club reboot, or some type of spin-off, ain't no one for the first season gonna give a goddamn about some newbies coming in. They're gonna wanna see the originals, and the originals only. They're gonna wanna see old beefs, and they're gonna wanna see some new beefs. And that's just a fucking bottom line fact. So they're having these private conversations, agreeing to saying there's newbies just to trick those newbies into posting videos to have their followers subscribe to vote for them. In the meantime, Natalie has no intentions at all to use the fucking newbies. At all. Um, they all said we should say some newbies. Get everyone going even more. Post up some of their videos. Everyone needs a tape showing vote you in the house, everyone. Her texts don't make no goddamn sense. Like, we're just kind of winging it, having fun, etc. With us all there, and when we get there, good content, we're good. It's a week and a half away. We need everyone making videos for now saying vote us in the house. Friday, we're going to say this Monday is the deadline to vote under the girls' videos, and then the house is picked, in quotation marks. So she called me, I didn't answer, and I said, I will call you when I get to the hair salon, because at this point, I was editing a true crime video, and I was not going to stay on the phone with Natalie for an hour and a half, listening to her run around in circles. So she says, okay. I said, but you, Rocky, Sarah, and Jada 
Having a conversation amongst yourselves is not a group conversation. With those who are coming, nor is it a group of people agreeing on it. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I really just don't understand what the, f the confusion was, but whatever. When someone's so used to just being the I and the I in team, even though there is no I in team, there's like no f***ing talking to them. So she was not understanding a literal word that I was saying, or she was understanding it and she didn't give a of course, throwing that idea out seems great for hype, but realistically, it'll backfire because a newbie is not going to come, at least not this time around, because we ain't splitting the pot with a random chick who's going to see how we're doing organized bad girls club shit for OnlyFans. And when I say organized bad girls club shit, I mean we have five days to make sure we have uh, the intro, Sarah walking out of a building and saying, it's Sarah, I'm from season whatever season Sarah was on. I'm sorry, I know Sarah was on a season and she was popular on it. I actually couldn't name what season she was on. And this is what I've been up to. Hi, I'm Danny. You know me from Bad Girls Club Season 8 Las Vegas. I was on there with my twin sister. I also did Love Games. I did Twinstant re Replay. I did a twinning special with Tanisha hosting. I did Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1, Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 2, I did Marriage Boot Camp, I did Bad Girls Club 13 Redemption, I did Battle of the Ex Besties with Judy, I did Game of Clones on MTV, and now I'm in the mother bad bitch reunion house and I'm about to turn this mother up. That's what I meant by organized Bad Girls Club shit. We need the green screens, we need the trailer, we need the song made, we need, we have five days when we get to Atlanta to maybe get a pilot, get a pitch going, get as much content to pitch to a network so we can use the OnlyFans as behind the scenes content or extra pictures, like almost like an Instagram page, but for a lower price. I think $20 is way too much. Have it be behind the scenes bonus clips that they used to do on the Oxygen website. Have it be behind the scenes confessionals or never before seen footage. Little shit like that is what the only fans page should have been for once we got a pilot and sold the reboot. That was what I was trying to explain to Natalie. She, at the beginning, was kind of blowing smoke off my ass. Like, yeah, we are redoing it. We're, we're bringing Bad Girls Club back. This is it. This is what we're doing. It's the only reason I was cool with this entire concept. Now let me continue my text. This time should be Bad Girls Only. It's a reunion hype because from the videos you all have posted, these fans think we are filming an actual show. It's a week and a half away is my stressing point to deciding who's if, who officially who is coming. Starting the chat and laying down the groundwork. This can't be no let's wing it shit. We have to be calculated on how much money we are going to make. And she goes, you guys got to call me when you get to the hair salon. I said I will. While I'm at the hair salon, she sends me a bunch of clips of blue faces. Shit. Some bitch lost her tooth. I'm sorry, I'm 32. I have immaculate teeth. I have no interest in doing whatever is going on in blue faces, bad girls club it seems like a liability waiting to happen and I texted her back I said what's this she said blue faced babies bad girls club first of all he can get in serious trouble for even using the entity bad girls club and the fact that he posted I made two million I won't be surprised if NBC is knocking on his door asking for like the entire cut she said girl got her tooth knocked out Lord Jesus I said because Natalie on a phone conversation told me all the girls on blue faces are not getting paid and I said to Natalie and these chicks aren't even getting paid anything unreal I can't believe she's just on the live cool showing off her missing tooth she said yeah this morning the girl's getting all veneers he's buying her a whole new grill crazy on live so oh fuck, I just lost my spot I'm so pissed I gotta scroll back up basically this entire time Rocky Natalie all these girls are obsessed with blue faces bad girls club even at one point in the group chat, Christina was like, at this point, we're all fans. And I'm like, yo, and you guys all sound fucking stupid. Then she sends me a whiteboard. Let me save this picture. Sunday the 25th, Monday the 26th, Tuesday the 27th, yada, yada, yada. Sip and paint. Paint, because my idea was like, we could have a fun night and we can do uh, sip and paint and we all paint a penis and whoever paints the best gets a prize. I don't know. I thought it would be fun. That was like stuff we used to do on Bad Girls Club. So she has sip and paint, painting a big rose contest using a bump box, old school hot cars out front for a photo shoot, game night, twistered, oiled up, have you ever, truth or dare, club night, Halloween theme party, 
I go, that's all for the first night Sunday? She goes, no, just all ideas. I go, I have a lot, but won't be able to send till later because I'm drinking with Pops till about 7.30ish my time. Because my dad was coming over, he doesn't live here anymore, so family time is very important to me. So she responds, hey girl, so tell dad hi, and we really need your guys' video by today, or as a group of girls who already promoted, we gotta move forward. People have booked flights. I say, okay, but you said we'd have a group chat where we'd be sending our flight receipts. She said, we have you till tonight, babe. I just called Rocky. Look, if you guys haven't posted a video, this is really not something you guys are a part of. So we'll do it again in November. You guys can maybe jump on board then. So basically bullying me and Gabby into posting a video. We need the videos to promote to pay for the house. Mind you, Natalie got on live and said she paid for the house out of her old pocket. Nope, she used the OnlyFans money. I literally got lounges comp today, sip and paint comp, party bus comp, ready to book the house. Mind you, how are you ready to book the house when we haven't even discussed what house we want to book? The shit's not adding up, it's not making sense. How are you ready to book a house when you just said two seconds ago, we need to, more money to promote to pay to the ha for the house? So how are you ready to book when one, we haven't discussed what house we're booking, and two, you just said you need to earn more money on OnlyFans in order to book a house? You're contradicting yourself in one fucking goddamn paragraph, bro. She said, booked my flight and two others have also. Keep in mind, Natalie booked her flight days later. Have a screenshot of it. <laughs> she did not book her flight while we're texting. Keep in mind, this is the 14th she said this. We're moving forward, the girls who have posted videos. At this point, the only girls that have posted videos were Jada, Rocky, Natalie. So you're going to move forward with three girls? Really? That's what you're going to do? Okay. I said, okay, but everyone who posts and books a flight tonight needs to be added to a group chat to get everything together by later tonight or tomorrow morning. So I sent her a picture, a video at 8.07 of the video me and Gabby used to tell people to go vote. And I said, what do we do now? Just post it up? What is the details? Like, what the f*** is going on? She goes, sorry one second, my loves, give me two minutes. I go, how does the OnlyFans page have 17 posts? Again, we still don't have access, we don't have the password, we don't know what the fuck is going on. And I go and I typed in the URL and it says 17 posts and I'm like, how the fuck does our page have 17 posts and why is anyone posting without everyone agreeing that that's what should be posted? Again, Natalie is trying to run the ship and the ship is fucking sinking like the goddamn fucking Titanic. And the shit hasn't even been decided on who's going. Let me continue. She said, hold on one second, just a little family thing going on one second. Really? Because I told you hours ago that my dad was over and I needed to drink with him and you didn't give a fuck about my family thing. You just bullied me into making a goddamn video and posting it online for people to subscribe. So I really don't give a fuck about your family thing. Let's discuss the matter at hand. Bully ass. So never got a response from her. Guys, not a response at all for the rest of the night. I go to bed. I text her Octo Thursday, October 15th at 9.36 a.m. when I wake up and I realize this bitch didn't text me back. I said, not only did we post, and Gabby's video only has 92k views on top of my Tic Tac video views, the twin page, pin, twin page views, but people who have subscribed for us specifically said there, there's zero posts for the Victor Twins and to vote for us. I also peeped that you reposted everyone's videos, but ours. As soon as the video was sent, the login and password should have been sent to me as I've asked for it over a hundred times. So please send it as I'd like to see how many fans how many fans the page has because she took off the main page to show how many fans the page actually has. So let me just be a little bit more specific in case you guys didn't get that message I sent her. When everyone was making the voting videos, Natalie was reposting everyone. She reposted Erica, Lucci V, she reposted Christina, she reposted uh, Shannon, she reposted Rocky, she reposted Jada. Me and Gabby posted and she did not repost it at all. Nothing. And I, and I peeped it, and I told Gabby, I go, yo, I'm gonna bite my tongue because I really want the Bad Girls Club shit to like happen. I think it would be really good for fans, like dead ass. And I would enjoy doing something that people would want to see because every video that I have, especially the podcast when I'm interviewing other Bad Girls, people really, 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 really miss that shit. But I tell Gabby, I go, this is some hating ass, jealous ass, MVS shit. Guys, on my life, and this is not me being conceited, this is not me being egotistical, this is not be me being a see you next Tuesday. I have never in my life, okay, met anyone as more jealous, as more envious of me and Gabby than Natalie Nunn. The look she gives when we're speaking, like at some point in Zoom, she'd be rubbing her hand against her forehead, rolling her 
fucking eyes mad as and she'd be mad because she probably knows that everything we're saying is all the shit that needs to get done. Maybe you don't like the way we're fucking saying it, but we're saying that way because you belittle everyone, you boss everyone around, you demand to have respect, you tell people not to speak a certain way, then you speak that way, and it's just like, fuck you, bitch, fuck you. And all this shit about head charge, I'm fucking tired of that shit, bro. I'm fucking tired of that. Everyone else should be tired of that. When she got up on her fucking Hollywood on lock podcast, whatever, talking about, uh, who gave Tanisha the fucking crown? I'm the fucking, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. When you think of Bad Girls Club, you think of three people, Tanisha, me, and Flo. First of all, there's a lot of people who think about Bad Girls Club. Yes, of course, they think of you. They think of Tanisha. They think of Flo. They also think of Danny. Gabby, the Victor Tins. They also think of the Claremont twins. They also think of Erica. They also think of Camilla. They also think of Megan. They also think of Gia. They also think of Paula. They also think of Jen. They also think of Green Doll. There's hella people that people think of when you say Bad Girls Club. They don't think of one specific. People got fans, bro. They might not be fans of all of us. Some people probably hate me, love other bad girls. There's some people that hate other bad girls. And love me. Just like Tanisha said, we all have a cult following. Maybe some of us did more spinoffs than others that don't mean you don't have a fan base. And this is the thing. You could think, like, I will say, there's certain bad girls where I'm like, probably shouldn't, like, maybe you shouldn't be on, like, the reboot cast because you really ain't that important. You know, like, I'm not really, like, you're not in the top 20. That's not to say that they don't have a fan base or a cult following. I'm just saying, yeah, of course, I do believe that there's some people that deserve to be on an all-star cast. Just like when I did Bad Girls Club 13, there's a lot of people that were on that cast that I think should have been replaced. Like, why the fuck wasn't Megan on the all-star cast? I don't know, I can't really think of 13. But like, there's just certain people where on 13, I was like, it just don't really make sense to me. And to this point, if there's people, if there's another reboot, if someone right now is working on a reboot right now and they bring people back, I'm sure at one point I'm going to be like, mm, it doesn't really make sense to me, but hey, whatever, everybody has their own fan base and those fan bases are going to go for them, whatever, cool. So it's very frustrating to me that it's got to be like this weird competition thing. Okay, yeah, Tanisha was a host for many, many seasons and she was good at it. She's still good at it. I was on her live the other night and it was like she just went straight back into hosting mode. For me, I'm like, why does it have to be Natalie against Tanisha? Why can't Tanisha do her shit, Natalie do her and everybody plays a different role? Why do we always all have to pin against each other? And this is the thing I've said in so many of my YouTubes, I would love if Bad Girls came back, but the reason Bad Girls Club didn't come back is because no one could put their egos to the side put their egos down to say, listen, we can all get money. We can all get bread if we do this and we work together. There is no working together. There is none. And I know this for a fact now because this past week and a half of my life, I swear to God, I've lost sleep. I have bags under my eyes. My back hurts. I need a goddamn massage. I need a facial. I'm breaking out. I swear to God, my hair is thinning. All because ain't nobody want to listen to the next bitch, even if the next bitch is right. And I'm not saying, how do I say this? Natalie started this group chat and she had no intentions of being a team player. I don't give a f how many times when I read these screenshots to you, you hear me say Natalie says I'm a team player. The bitch is not a team player. She don't listen. She don't give a f She might respond to you. She might give you the response you want. Five, ten minutes later, she's flipping that response. It's like she never f agreed to it to begin with. Everything out of her mouth is goddamn lie i've never seen anybody lie like this like i've dated some narcissist ass mother okay i know narcissist i have narcissist i've laid in bed with narcissists i've given my heart and my love and my time to narcissists and i have never met a more stone cold narcissist than natalie Nunn. the bitch is delusional the world moves around her she don't give a about nobody she don't give a about nothing but herself okay she's using all these chicks she's gonna rob all of them just like she robbed us and because of all this drama i would pray to god no network in the world ever works for her 
She said, Jayla nicely backed out in a very professional way and Janelle still ain't sent a video. So last night was like the last, we just gotta move on. Then she said, I started to chat, babe. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. I said, hey, I'll call you right back. I'm on the phone. That's the last of the texting. Everything else was through the chat. So we get in this chat and the whole beginning of the chat is just a uh, let's on Tanisha, basically. So this was the first time that Tanisha went live. Jada actually hopped in her live and it was the first time ever that I saw Tanisha basically tell a bad girl like you don't belong in this club you ain't shit. and I was like like Tanisha was like going in and I was like Damn. Damn. I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna tell you what this said Natalie said because we're telling Natalie she's live mind you Natalie's watching the live like she tuned into all of Tanisha's shit. Let's be serious. She said, didn't want to call it bad anything. She really wants to do like a vacation show. Crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face. Now, before I continue with this shit talking fest, I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to Natalie saying later on, like a week later, when we're arguing about the camera crew, she said, this is five days, just a really fun vacation to be honest. Didn't you just, I'm sorry, didn't you just say that she wants to do a vacation show and you laughed at Tanisha? So I'm confused. Are we doing a vacation show now, which is what Tanisha wanted? Or not? She's just a contradicting, contradicting. She's a contradicting ass bitch. So Natalie goes, no lingerie, no turn up, none of that. Well, that ain't gonna sell. Erica kills me. No, actually, Natalie, the only person thinking about themselves is you. And I don't know what Tanisha was thinking at this point, but t Natalie and Tanisha have known each other for a very long time. I have respect for certain people, okay, that I've known for a long time. Respect to a level where I wouldn't do certain if Natalie and Tanisha, in fact, had a private conversation about having a show, doing it together, and being EPs, then from beginning to end, they should have worked together as sisters, friends, whatever, and got the shit done. From the first conversation, when Tanisha was like, yo, I didn't even know she made an OnlyFans, I know nothing about this, she hasn't told me anything, I knew right then and there some shit was going on. Now, Tanisha is very fucking professional. Everything she does is professional to the book. I will say I was very upset when I saw the Zeus flyer of her and Natalie. I would, I would never ever hate on Tanisha for doing the conversation. I was so at a bad mental spot yesterday and so drained. I was like, yo, what is going on? Who can I trust? Who can we talk to? What is going on? I still don't know what's going on. But I, I just want to make this clear. I would never get mad at her for accepting a bag and doing the conversation. I just don't know what the going on. I don't know who's talking to who, what's being planned and what's not being planned. I just felt like there was a game of chess going on and me and Gabby were just like these pieces moving in the game of chess. So I just want to clear that up. But on that note, Tanisha is very professional. Even when she does her IG lives, it was like she was back in hosting mode and doing her thing. So for me, I know that Natalie doing all this and Tanisha saying it's rushed is kind of scaring me. Okay, I'm a little worried. I'm stressed out. I have a knot in my back like I have one now and for everyone wondering why I'm moving so much is because I don't even know how to sit comfortably for me to not ball my eyes out. <laughs> okay, that's what's going on. So really at the end of the day, it was really all about Natalie. Natalie from beginning, Natalie from the end. It's, it's just, it was, it's a lot you guys. That's a lot. Tanisha on her live at some point brought up COVID testing and how Natalie just had COVID and she needs to take the proper precautions to film a production and it's completely accurate if anyone was filming a movie right now or a reality show or whatever you need to show up with masks there needs to be hand sanitizer on deck everyone should bring literally with them a covid test so in tanisha's life she's like natalie are you getting testing are you taking the proper precautions do you have security she was asking questions that definitely needed to be asked gabby says in the screenshot i agree testing needs to happen Natalie says she's like, we could have got together and got a bag. Still talking about Tanisha. Like, you're, we're not talking about that anymore. Then Natalie says, I'm like, no, Tanisha, no. You made 
you mad, you made, you're gonna miss a bag. I think she meant you're mad, you're gonna miss a bag. Cause I'm not on board with no networks, no. All her conversations were really confusing. So Sarah then says, great call guys, let's get it. I'll get back to you later tonight. Danny, when I look at the contract, thanks for doing that. Because I had my lawyer do the contracts because Natalie, again, even though she was asked 550 times, what's, what are we doing about contracts? We need a contract. We leave in a week and a half. We need a contract. Like we got contracts for Bad Girls Club before we even found out that we made the cast. Do you know what I'm saying? So you just said yourself, we leave in a week and a half, where the, f the contracts? So I took it upon myself to hit up my guy and get the contract done. And then Gabby again is just saying, you guys, we should take a COVID test before going. It should be a requirement. And then Natalie's like, I can show you the price. I have a lady. There should be no price on a COVID test. I did mine at my primary care, 15, I did, did the and I waited 15 minutes and I got my results. There should be no price. Natalie said, I have a lady who would come to the house. We could show that, but it's $900 for all of us. Pricks our finger. Gabby's like, uh, my primary care does it for free. And then Natalie says, I don't know what's up to you. Danny just got one, she's negative. I did, I actually got it on September, I think 14th or some shit. It was the day Natalie posted that she was in the hospital for COVID, which I had no idea because I don't follow Natalie on Instagram. And I said, she's cute and COVID free. And everyone was like, are you throwing shade at Natalie? And I'm like, no guys, I like literally just got my COVID test done because I flew from LA to Boston and I have, my parents are older and I'm trying to make sure I don't get them sick. Not everything has to be a bad girl's club beef. Tanisha didn't say nothing wrong. She said, you're not being responsible. You know how many bags we could have gotten together, but you can't let it happen. Your ego won't allow it. Typical Natalie, LOL. And then Natalie said, well, what, well, what with the networks? Talk to me. And then she was typing and didn't show us the rest of the text. So I don't know what private conversations they were having. I don't know what bags they were trying to get together or whatever. I don't know their plans. First of all, ladies, how would you want to film us getting a COVID test when someone could have COVID? So we all get to the house with no testing results. We do the exam to find out one of the had COVID this entire time and then we can't do anything. That doesn't make any sense. Just go to your primary care, get the results in 15 minutes, bring the results to the crib. Why the f will we pay a lady $900 to film getting a COVID test? No one gives up and it's not safe. We should know we don't have COVID before we're all in the same house getting COVID test. Maybe on the way out, but not on the way in. Again, if you're a producer, these suggestions wouldn't even be coming off your mouth. A, a, an actual producer would not suggest that any of their cast members be put in COVID's way, period. Hi guys, so I took a little break because one of my friends called me, Randy. Some things were said about me tonight that I'm not gonna choose to address because I gotta address way too much drama. So we'll just put a pause on that. So let's get right back into it, okay? It's been like about an hour and a half since I last filmed my life. Gabby says, yeah, because you just had COVID. So she's saying we are all nuts. And when she says she, she means Tanisha because Tanisha was like, you just had COVID. This is crazy. This is madness. You can't just move into a house when you just had COVID. And Natalie responded, ha 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 you guys can just hear how annoying her laugh was in these messages, let alone if we heard it in person. I'm COVID, negative, Ben. Now, keep in mind, it was deleted from this section. This conversation was a lot longer. I'm imagining they went in and they hit on send on a bunch of messages. Natalie then says, stop talking to her. Everyone who she's contacting, also, she's all will you go live with me. She's a terrible f It's like almost like she, I'm, I'm not even gonna say it, but like, I'm like, no, not happening. She's all Nat. I said, nah, girl, this is so confusing when I'm actually reading it back. I'm like, what the f are you saying? So the agreement in all of this is that we both be equal talent and equal producers. We split the cost of everything equal, except for the stuff we need to use for production. In my mind, I'm thinking food for the house, Ubers, like if we had to call trucks to go somewhere, that comes out of, you know, that goes to production cost, the house, camera crew, audio, editing, and then besides the production cost, everything was supposed to be split equally down the middle. I thought that was fair. I thought it would make 
everyone feel just as important as everybody else. There would be no competition, there would be no this, there would be no that. I did see a little bit of difficulty in the sense that there wasn't one head producer and or story producer that was not also talent. Because in the contract, and I'll get into the contract at some point, it was very clear stated that I acknowledge that when I'm in my role as producer, my feelings, my personal feelings for another talent, as I am talent, will not affect how I do my job as producer. And I, from personal experience, living in a bad girls clubhouse, being a bad girl herself, know that when I'm pissed, when I'm mad, when I'm upset, I'm pissed. But I've also had corporate jobs, and I've also worked in restaurants, and I've also had jobs where I have also been very upset, very mad, very uncomfortable, and I sucked it up, and I handled business. But not every bad girl is the same. So I did see or foresee some issues probably happening. They're all talking about organized drama and fake scenes, and me, Gabby, and Erica are like, we really don't need to do that because we're nine different personalities. We're automatically gonna butt heads, probably within the first hour or two. Let's just get the camera crew, roll the cameras 24 seven, like we do, like we would do if it was a regular reality TV show production and let the go. Nothing needs to be staged, nothing needs to be orchestrated because there's going to be natural ass drama. But we'll get into that when we get into it. And Gabby goes, it wouldn't have ever been just you and her saying you guys wouldn't have been the ones running the show, collecting all the money and paying the rest of the bad girls pennies because that's what we were doing before. I think she was trying to say, and she's trying to get you guys to look at me like I'm shady. I think that's what she was trying to say. It was like this whole tyrant of talking about Tanisha wasting time. Okay, we get it. You're not working with her. Where do we go from here? Keep in mind, none of us are engaging in the bullshit. The only person engaging is Jada.
her obsession with Tanisha for the first I don't know felt like a decade is just kind of weird and creepy and it's just like shut the f up can we stop talking about it now like we get it you're upset you and Tanisha are beefing but take that out to a group chat because we have nothing to do with it you can just see Natalie's obsession obsession Natalie then said I can't stop laughing ha 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 Crying face, wink face, crying face, crying face. Let her get us subscribers. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for the post. Little do you know, this team of nine ain't playing no game, sis. Meanwhile, little do we know, it was really just a team of one. I said, contracts need to be signed before the picture goes up. They went out yesterday and that should have been handled number one on the Zoom before outfits or games we play in. So everyone read it over tonight. Make the suggestions that need to be added or taken out and let's have them signed by Sunday morning. It was like pulling f teeth for anyone to discuss the contract. I don't know if they were scared of Natalie. I don't know if they were all discussing it in separate chats. That's another issue that came up. Everyone was having private side conversations, private phone calls, private this, private that. No one was ever on the same page or people were talking shit about other people behind their backs. But to get this contract to even be brought up in discussion, it was like pulling f***ing teeth. I would bring it up all the time. Just like before we got the login and password to OnlyFans, it was like pulling f***ing teeth for Natalie to give it to us. Then Gabby says, why you never say anything when we bring up contracts, Natalie? Which was silent as The shit with you and T is weird to me. Erica said, I think we should agree on contracts tonight. They're not long. I said, the contracts aren't long at all. I sent them last night and we all said we'd discuss it today and it wasn't discussed. Erica said, I agree with everything. I think it should be if motherfuckers fight, no charges can be pressed though. Just take your L and go. LOL. Erica is so funny. Then Natalie, the post is unavailable, sent us another post of Tanisha, completely ignoring us asking about the contracts, completely ignoring it. Then she sends a post of Tanisha. Erica said, Jada, can you look at the contract tonight? Keep in mind, Natalie still hasn't acknowledged anything about the contract once. She just keeps talking about the OnlyFans, talking about Tanisha, but ignoring us completely on the contract. Shady ass, sketchy ass, snake ass. So then Natalie ignores again the contract talk, where you're not listening to them, not paying attention to what's important, not being on board with your other teammates. Clearly no one gives a fuck about your beef with Tanisha in here. We're trying to get the logistics down because we're a week and a half away from going to Atlanta. Natalie then says, stay off our post. Jada said, speak it into the world. Ass kissing, brown nose ass Natalie said, you're making it seem like to the fans it's not real, you know, because it's not. So that's that. At this point, I didn't know that yet, but now I'm like, fuck. But again, ignoring the contract, still talking about Tanisha. Still talking about Tanisha. Like, Jada, I think this might have been after J she rashed Jada for filth on her live. Because she literally took a dump on Jada's head. So Jada just probably wanted to talk hella. Like, what the bitch? Ooh. Jada, you ain't. Tanisha's right. You don't belong in this club. The only reason people even still know your name is because you threw a fake ass red bottom in my eyebrow, gave me a scar, and punched me in the face instead of getting an ass beating by Camilla. You're irrelevant. But again, like I said, to each his own, she probably has fans, she probably has a cult-like following, no one's better than any one person, I'm just saying she probably shouldn't have been on the first season coming back. Could have been on the second season, maybe a third, first season, no. Okay, Natalie's again completely ignored the contract talk, Again, let it go. Let it go, my dude. Just let it go. At this point, I had no idea what the fuck to say. I don't know what to say to Natalie. I don't know what to say about Tanisha. I don't know what to say about what the fuck is going on. I just, why are you ignoring about the contract? The only people that acknowledge it were me, Gabby, Erica, and Shannon. Jada didn't even fuck 
answer the question when Erica asked her, are you gonna sign the contract tonight? No answer from Jada. Keep in mind what Natalie's saying here. I'll pay her to come on and fight us personally. I'll pay her. I'm gonna pay her 100K to come here. You're gonna pay her 100K to come fight you personally. But you robbed us when you locked us out of the OnlyFans account. And we asked you to give us our cut and reimburse us our, for our flight, and you wouldn't do that. But you have 100K? You have 100K to fly out to Nisha to fight you? Make it make sense. Can someone make it make sense for me? Because it's not making sense. Okay, let's continue. 